Welcome to the second part of our LaTeX page tutorial video. In the previous video, we covered text width, height, margins, predefined page sizes, and orientation. In this video, we will explore advanced topics like custom line spacing, custom backgrounds, headers and footers, title page layouts, and column width customization. Let's get started with custom line spacing. Line spacing plays a crucial role in making your document more readable. LaTeX allows you to adjust your line spacing using the set space package. Here is how it works. First, in our document, we have to import the set space package here in the preamble. Then, inside begin document, we can specify the line spacing that we want. If we recompile the document, we can see that now we have double spacing. For those of you that haven't watched part one of this video, here I'm compiling the LaTeX document locally on my computer using PyCharm but you can follow along if you're using any other LaTeX compiler or any other LaTeX IDE to visualize your code. We are not limited to double spacing, but we can also have one and a half spacing. So we can just uh, change the command and recompile the document and we can see that uh, this changes. We can also have a custom uh, spacing inside the document and we can do that uh, with the begin environment. So we can say begin spacing and we can wrap this uh, text in this case here and then we can just say end spacing and then we are going to say 3 and then we can recompile the document and we can see that within this section only we have a line spacing of 3. These commands are particularly useful for academic writing or when adhering to specific formatting guidelines. Let me comment this out because it doesn't read very well, but now you have seen how you change the line spacing and we can move on on creating two columns layout. Two columns layout are commonly used in journals or newsletter and you can enable them by using the two column option in your document class or within the document environment. So here we can go into the document class here at the top and we can pass as an option, usually options are passing within square bracket and then we can recompile the document and we should be able to see that we have a two column document. Let's change this left border back to 2.5 because it doesn't read very well at the moment. So it's going to be, we're going to have an equal uh, margin on the left and on the right side. If you want, you can also switch to two columns for a specific section by using the multi-column package. So after importing the multi-call package, we want to select the text that we want to wrap it in two columns. So we have this begin multi-column and then we're going to say end multi-column and then we're going to recompile the document. We can see that page one is one single column while page two is two columns now. Let's see now how we can add a custom background. To add a custom background, you can use either the background or wallpaper package. This is useful for creating title pages or decorative documents. Here is going to be an example on how we can use the background package. So at the top of our document, in our document preamble, we are going to import the background package. Another important thing that I've already done it, but you will have to do it, is to add an image, of course, to your uh, project directory. So here inside our directory, which is called LaTeX page layout, we have the main.txt file, which is the file that we are editing, and we also have an image, which is called background image. After compiling the document, we can see that after adding the package background, we can see that now all the pages have a draft here written behind our uh, text. Now let's go and add our image. So we can do that with this command here, which is going to specify the scale of the image, the opacity of the image, which we want to be just 0.5. Sometimes this is called also alpha. And basically it's the level of transparency of the image. We're going to say angle zero. And then we want to have in the position, which is the current and page. So it's going to show in every page of our document. And then finally, we are specifying the content of the background image, which is basically our image that we have selected with a paper width and paper height. So if we recompile the document, we should be able to see the background appearing in all the pages. And we can see that it looks consistent across all the pages. And of course, you can change this opacity to make it more prominent or less, more, less transparent or more transparent based on your needs. LaTeX also provides powerful tools for customizing headers and footer. The fancy header package is one of the most popular options. And let's see how we can use it in our document. So as usual, we go back here at the top and in our preamble, we add the fancy HDR package. 
and then we are specifying a few more information. So we are going to specify the, the page style fancy and we are going to be clearing all the uh, default header and footer just in case. We don't have any header and footer in our document, but we'll just be clearing it and we recompile the document just to make sure that nothing is happening. We can actually see that once you have done that, a new line is appearing here at the top. And uh, let me show you how which are the quick commands in order to add uh, headers. So on the left, on the center, on the right, uh, on the footer, or right, left, and center. So let me just recompile this. And you can see that now we have the left header, the center, and the right header. And then we have the left footer, page one, and the right footer. Page one is also a nice addition that I wanted to add it to this video. And we can show the page number. In order to do that programmatically, we can use this command, which is page and then the page. And then, of course, in page two, we're going to have page two. But this command here, we can use it wherever we want in our footer. So we can also add it, for instance, to the left top in the header. So, for instance, we can have left header two because it's page two and left header one. I have another video specifically about page numbering, so I'm not going to cover everything in this video here. Sometimes you may want the title or cover page to have a different layout from the rest of the document. Here is how you can achieve it using the title page environment. So you have to go inside the here, begin document, and then we're going to add this code here, which is the begin title page environment. So we have begin title page, we are going to be centering it. Let me recompile it so you can see. We are going to add a vertical space, and then we're going to have the huge, the document title, and then we're going to have subtitle or author information, and then we're going to have a vertical field. In here, we could have also include graphics, uh, for instance, and then here we could specify like the width of the image, which could be 0.5 text width. And then we can pass our background image. If you want to add a graphic, we need to use the graphics package. So just select the one with the end, with the X at the end, the graphics here. And then we should be able to see our image here in our title page. And then you can choose, like for instance, you don't want to have this B field, but for instance, you want to have a simple vertical space. And then underneath here, we can just have this V fill. So it's just going to be filling the rest of the space. So the image is going to be now closer to the subtitle, but then we have to go, of course, in a new line because we want to have it underneath. So this is how you can change the title page and this create a standalone title page with custom spacing, images, and text alignment. In this video, we cover advanced page layout techniques in LaTeX, including custom line spacing, two column layout, adding backgrounds, creating unique title pages, and customizing headers and footer. These tools will help you create polished professional documents tailored to your needs. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your question in the comments. See you in the next tutorial.